For millennia, humans have gazed at the stars and wondered, are we alone? This question has sparked the imagination of countless generations, inspiring myths, legends, and scientific inquiry. Are there other worlds out there, orbiting distant suns, worlds that might harbor life, or even civilizations? Today, we know the answer is a resounding yes. Thanks to advancements in technology and the tireless efforts of astronomers, we have discovered thousands of these distant worlds. The universe is teeming with planets beyond our solar system. We call them exoplanets. These discoveries have opened up a new frontier in our quest to understand the cosmos. Exoplanets are planets that orbit stars other than our sun. They come in a staggering variety of sizes, compositions, and orbits. Their discovery has revolutionized our understanding of the cosmos. It has challenged our notions of what a planetary system can be. It has shown us that planetary systems are common and that they can be incredibly diverse. Some exoplanets are gas giants like Jupiter, while others are rocky like Earth. Our solar system, while special to us, is just one of countless others in the vast expanse of space. Each new discovery adds a piece to the puzzle of our universe. The study of exoplanets is a young but rapidly growing field. With each passing year, we develop new methods and technologies to find and study these distant worlds. Every new discovery brings us closer to answering some of the biggest questions in science. How do planets form? What processes lead to the creation of such diverse worlds? What are they made of? Are their atmospheres similar to ours or do they contain exotic elements and compounds? And most importantly, is there life elsewhere in the universe? The discovery of even microbial life on another world would be one of the most profound scientific achievements in history. As we continue to explore, we inch closer to answering these age-old questions. One of the most successful methods for finding exoplanets is the transit method. This technique relies on a simple principle. When a planet passes in front of its star, from our perspective, it blocks a tiny amount of the star's light. This dip in brightness is measurable even from light years away. By observing these periodic dips, astronomers can infer the presence of an orbiting planet. The larger the planet, the more light it blocks, and the more noticeable the dip. The transit method has been incredibly successful, leading to the discovery of thousands of exoplanets. It's particularly good at finding planets that orbit close to their stars, where transits are more frequent. Planets don't just orbit stars, they also exert a gravitational pull on them. This gravitational interaction is a fundamental aspect of celestial mechanics, influencing the motion of both the planet and the star. This pull causes the star to wobble slightly. This wobble, although minuscule and often imperceptible to the naked eye, can be detected with precise instruments. We can detect this wobble by observing the star's light. Astronomers use sophisticated telescopes and spectrometers to analyze the light emitted by the star, looking for subtle changes that indicate movement. As the star moves towards us, its light is slightly blue shifted. This means the wavelengths of the light are compressed, making the light appear bluer than it actually is. As it moves away, the light is red shifted. In this case, the wavelengths are stretched, causing the light to appear redder. This is the Doppler effect, the same phenomenon that causes a siren to change pitch as it passes by. Just as the sound waves of a siren are compressed and stretched, the light waves from a star are affected by its motion relative to us. By measuring these tiny shifts in the star's light, astronomers can determine the presence of an unseen planet. These measurements require incredible precision and are often conducted over long periods to confirm the presence of a planet. The more massive the planet, the stronger its gravitational pull and the more pronounced the wobble. This means that larger planets are easier to detect using this method, while smaller planets require more sensitive instruments. This method, known as the radial velocity method, was one of the first used to discover exoplanets. It has been instrumental in expanding our understanding of the universe, allowing us to identify planets beyond our solar system and study their properties in detail. The most straightforward way to find an exoplanet would be to see it directly. However, this is incredibly difficult. Stars are incredibly bright, and planets are comparatively tiny and faint. Imagine trying to see a firefly next to a spotlight from thousands of miles away. Despite the challenge, 
astronomers have developed techniques to directly image exoplanets. This usually involves blocking out the light of the star using instruments called coronagraphs. Direct imaging allows us to see the planet itself rather than just inferring its presence. From these images, we can learn about the planet's brightness, temperature, and even its atmosphere. The exoplanets we've discovered are incredibly diverse. Some are gas giants larger than Jupiter, orbiting scorchingly close to their stars. These are known as hot Jupiters. Others are rocky planets several times the mass of Earth, called super-Earths. One of the most famous exoplanets is 51 Pegasi b, the first exoplanet discovered around a sun-like star. It's a hot Jupiter, orbiting its star in just four days. Another intriguing system is TRAPPIST-1, which hosts seven Earth-sized planets, three of which may be in the habitable zone. By studying the light that passes through an exoplanet's atmosphere, or the light reflected from its surface, astronomers can learn about its composition. This is called spectroscopy. Different molecules absorb and emit light at specific wavelengths, creating a unique fingerprint. These fingerprints tell us what the atmosphere is made of, whether it's methane, water vapor, carbon dioxide, or other gases. This information is crucial for understanding the planet's climate, habitability, and even its history. Perhaps the most exciting aspect of exoplanet research is the search for life beyond Earth. This quest has captivated the imagination of scientists and the public alike for generations. While we haven't found definitive evidence of extraterrestrial life yet, the universe is vast and full of possibilities. The discovery of so many planets, each with its own unique characteristics, some in the habitable zones of their stars, gives us hope. These zones are often referred to as the Goldilocks zones because conditions there are just right, not too hot and not too cold for liquid water to exist. The habitable zone is the region around a star where temperatures are just right for liquid water to exist on the surface of a planet. This is crucial because water is considered essential for life as we know it. Without water, the complex chemistry that supports life would be impossible. Future telescopes and missions will be even more powerful. These advanced instruments will allow us to peer deeper into the cosmos than ever before. They'll be able to detect fainter signals, which could be the key to finding signs of life, and study exoplanet atmospheres in greater detail. By analyzing the chemical composition of these atmospheres, we can look for biosignatures, indicators of life. The search for life is a long and challenging one, requiring patience, dedication, and advanced technology. But the discoveries we make along the way, such as new planets and moons, and the understanding of their environments, will undoubtedly revolutionize our understanding of the universe. Each new finding adds a piece to the puzzle of our cosmic origins and our place within it. As we continue to explore, we may one day answer the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? The discovery of exoplanets has also sparked debate about the rare Earth hypothesis. This hypothesis suggests that the conditions that led to life on Earth are incredibly rare, perhaps unique in the universe. These conditions include having a stable star, a large moon to stabilize our planet's tilt, and the right chemical ingredients. While the rare Earth hypothesis is intriguing, it's important to remember that our sample size is still very small. As we discover more exoplanets and study them in greater detail, we'll gain a better understanding of just how special, or perhaps how common, life-bearing planets truly are. The study of exoplanets is one of the most dynamic and exciting areas of modern astronomy. New discoveries are happening all the time, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and challenging our assumptions about the universe. Future telescopes, both on the ground and in space, will be more powerful than ever before. They will allow us to study exoplanets in unprecedented detail, revealing their secrets and bringing us closer to answering the question, are we alone? The search for life beyond Earth is a testament to our innate curiosity and our desire to understand the cosmos and our place within it. The discovery of exoplanets has profoundly shifted our perspective. It has shown us that we are not alone, 
that our planet is just one of countless billions in the Milky Way galaxy and that our galaxy is just one of countless billions in the observable universe. This realization is both humbling and awe-inspiring. It underscores the vastness of the cosmos and the incredible diversity of worlds that likely exist out there. As we continue to explore the universe and unravel its mysteries, we do so with a renewed sense of wonder and a deeper appreciation for the preciousness of our own pale blue dot, our home in the vast cosmic ocean.